Hey guys, welcome back to Grim Productions, and today I'm going to be doing my opinions, thoughts, etc. on Spirit Halloween 2022 themes and animatronics. Now, these past few videos I've done haven't really been my, like, full thoughts and opinions. they kind of just been, you know, to give you all the news and updates and stuff like that. So today we're going to be going in, like, depth of what I think about all, all of this stuff. Um, now, due to the fact that none of us have been in the stores yet, these opinions could change drastically, and they kind of already have. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. I might do a uh, two-part of this video once the stores actually open and I get to see them in person, because, you know, they can always change. Um, but before we get into this, though, I would like to give a shout-out to Spirit Sonic Diaz. Dude, I had a great time in the live stream chatting with you, man, talking about, you know, all a bunch of Spirit Halloween theories, you know, this year, stuff like that. So, yeah, great time chatting with you. Um, speaking of live streams, though, I will probably be doing live streams either next week or maybe after the sneak peeks are released. Um, so if you want to, you know, have a chat with me or whatever and uh, ask me, like, live about this stuff, I will be doing a live stream very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my thoughts and opinions. Okay, so first we are going to start off with the themes for this year. The 2022 Dr. J. Reaper lab theme, whatever you call it. Um, actually, I do want to point this out. Um, in the live stream that I was watching the other day, uh, a lot of people in the comments are like, they just put Reaper in front of everything nowadays, you know, to kind of fit with, like, the mascot. And I, it's very true, you know, they do put Reaper in front of everything, and it's it's actually kind of funny to think about. We had a lot of funny ideas. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so anyways, yeah, so it's called Dr. J. Reaper, and I absolutely love this theme. I'm just going to say that straight off the bat. Okay, I'm a, I am love science, like, sci-fi horror, and... This is more like a medieval science, but it's cool because, you know, it kind of brings in two classic like Halloween designs and themes into one. It brings in a science lab and it brings in a like more like Frankenstein's castle kind of thing. And I just absolutely love that idea. I feel like, though, uh, there was there was a lot of potential here that was not like fulfilled, I guess. I feel like the front theme should have been the lab and the back theme should have been, like, a village, like, an old medieval village, you know, to kind of, like, I guess, focus men in on more of that Frankenstein, like, castle type of, type kind of feel, um, I feel like a medieval village could have been so creepy, and, like, it could have been done right, you know, but in the end, they ended up doing, you know, two science labs, so I'm not too mad about it, you know, science labs are really cool, um, and apparently in both of the themes, we're going to get a walkthrough. So that's really awesome to hear. Yeah, I absolutely love these themes. Um, someone even pointed out that on the floor, there are signs that they're going to be hanging up. Um, so I know the themes look a little bland, especially the front theme right now. But they will be decorated with like science lab stuff. So it looks more like a science lab instead of like a castle. And I do actually prefer these themes over the ones that we've had in the past few years. I just feel like a science lab and like a castle... It's just so, like, Halloween-ish, you know? It, it's just more classic than, like, a factory or a boat or especially a jungle. It's just kind of what you would think about whenever you think of, like, Halloween themes and ideas. You think of, like, a lab or a haunted castle or something like that. So I like how they went. They're starting to go that route again to do more Halloween-ish things to make the store more feel Halloween-ish. A lot of people were saying that this theme rem reminded them of, like, the ruins I think kind of reminds me of the clock tower because like the great brick you know both of those themes were very like halloween-ish feeling um so i can't wait to see this in person to see like how big it is like what it like really looks like in person i've also heard that this theme is going to have a lot of like different special effects and stuff like that i heard there's going to be a lot of use of water in it from pixelated pumpkin um i'm not entirely sure if that's you know accurate or not but he got it from uh an employee i think or someone um so who knows we could see water effects i believe in the like official like or not official but the flagship image of the back theme there is some use of fog in there with like a blue lighting or something you'll see it in this image right here um it's that blue like lightsaber looking thing it's a use of fog i believe is what it is and it looks incredible um, I can't wait to see that in person because I think that's going to honestly blow the pumpkin carbomatic out of the park. Even though that was cool, I think use of water is a, such a good idea and it could really like make you feel like you're in a science lab. Another thing I want to talk about about the themes is the uh, the back like layout. So apparently there is going to be a walkthrough in the back and we haven't had that since 2019 and it looks to be that they are going very simple with this layout probably to I guess just like test it out for this year you know see how many people are going to go in it see how it's going to work exactly um and it's just a straight path from what i've seen 
unlike 2019, which was like, you know, he had some turns and it was kind of dark in there. I don't know how this one's going to be. Um, from images I've seen, though, there should be a back walkthrough, though. I will do a separate video talking about this and talking about my uh, theories on what could be in the uh, back walkthrough. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. But uh, yeah. So overall, I am very, very impressed with these themes. Definitely probably my favorite in a while. Um, I absolutely love them. I can't wait for the walkthrough. But now let's go talk about the animatronics, which I do have more mixed opinions about. So I'm not going to be talking about these animatronics one by one because that would make this video very, very long. I'm just going to talk about them in one whole. And in a separate video, I will talk about them separately. So with the animatronics, whenever I first saw like all the photos of them, um, I wasn't too impressed. I kind of thought they were, you know, just very, very generic, very boring and bland. And some of them looked very, very cheap looking. And I still think that's the case. But these animatronics have grown on me a lot. Um, usually it's just one prop that kind of grows on me. But this entire lineup has, you know, really grown on me. And I am actually kind of starting to like these props. Um, we, I don't want to really judge them too yet if I like them or hate them because we haven't seen them in person yet. Um, we don't know what they do, what they say, stuff like that. So I don't want to judge them too much. Um, but from the looks that we first got of them, they didn't look good. Like, they, like they, they were good quality, you know. And for the prices that they were at, it was, you know, it you know made a lot of us mad. Um, and they just didn't look like they were good quality. You know, they looked like they were like Sunstar almost. And people were saying that I think, I think that's like the prototype images. Um, so thank God, because if that is the th prototype images, that means that these animatronics probably look a lot better in person, which hopefully that's the case because, you know, for the presses that are, they're charging this year, props that look like they were made by Sunstar is not, you know, acceptable at all. So hopefully these props do look amazing in person. I'm sure they will. Uh, we always know spirit, even though the lineup this year is kind of generic, they always tend to blow things out of the park, even with the most generic clown, you know, it's still a pretty good clown, I guess, for the most part. Anyways, I know I was kind of rambling on there for a little bit. The props this year, in my opinion, are looking, you know, just decent. Like I said, I can't really rate them, like, if they're good or bad. I think the concepts are so good with the props this year. Now, we just need to wait and see what the execution is like 100%. So we've seen them, you know, in the photos. We just need to see what they look like in person. So, yeah, I think the concepts are fantastic. I don't think the concepts are you know, generic. I think they're very unique. It's just that the way they, they designed them looks kind of generic, especially like Nozzles. Even though he has a unique, I guess, concept to him, he's very generic looking. Although a prop like Monty or Mr. Punchy or the Raven kind of, I think are like very, you know, good in concept and good in execution kind of so far. Um, Nozzles looks good. He's just kind of generic. My favorites, though, so far, and I've had a couple people ask me this, are for sure Raven, um, Mr. Punchy, and probably Bog Zombie or Monty. I think those props just look amazing. Um, I'm super duper excited to see them in person. Um, so far, though, my least favorites have to be probably Bag of Bones and Lucky Bottoms. I think Bag of Bones is probably my least favorite because he's just so generic, you know? He looks like a like an early like Lowe's prop, like a prop that they would have sold like a few years back. Like, the bag that he's sitting in looks very cheaply made, and the skeleton himself is so generic. They could have added such, like, a cool, like, zombie or skeleton in the bag, but they decided on, like, a standard posable skeleton, which just looks so generic, you know? There's nothing going on there, and I believe his price isn't above 200 which is a good thing, but honestly, it should be, like, probably in, like, close to the $100 range, not, like, anywhere above, like, 150 and I believe that they are charging like 160 for him. Don't quote me on that though. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah. And as far as the license props go, um, so far, you know, I think they they are pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the Exorcist, um, but I know a lot of people are. And I think this Reagan prop is very detailed and accurate from the photos that we've seen so far. <clears throat> and I am very, very excited for the Crypt Keeper. I have a feeling that he's probably going to be an online only though, unfortunately, but I'm not 100% sure. He might have his own display, kind of like Nightmare Before Christmas, but I am very, very excited to see a Crypt Keeper because he is one of my favorite, like, characters, so if he does come out, I probably will get him, and I will do an unboxing on the channel for y'all, um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited for that, and so far, the license props are looking pretty good, though. I can't wait to see them in person, what they do exactly. Um, I was really, really hoping for a Hatbox Ghost animatronic. I might be the only one, though. I did, like, multiple videos on that prop, um, but I guess we'll have to wait until next year. 
um, or he could be an online only, who knows, who knows. Either way, though, I think he might be coming in the near future, though, so hopefully. As far as the returning props go, I am not the biggest fan of what they chose exactly. They have little skelly bones, but they, like, redid him, basically, to where he's, like, in a different position, and he's holding something, so he's no longer swinging, which is very weird, and kind of defeats the purpose of a returning prop and more, like, uses an, an old idea to make a new generic prop. Kind of lazy, to be honest. I feel like if you were going to bring back Little Skelly Bones, bring him back as the fans like him. And the I guess the new like, buzz that's been going around is that there is no Barnard Butcher or Pumpkin Nester, which I was kind of heartbroken to like hear that there was no Pumpkin Nester in stores because I love Pumpkin Nester. And I know a lot of people were upset with Barnyard Butcher not being in stores this year. I don't know why they're not returning them um in stores this year and they replaced it with little skelly bones that makes no sense at all unless they're going to be like a filler or something which is what some people are saying which i hope that's the case so we can at least see them in stores and just buy them you know but i don't even know if barnard butcher's returning i know pumpkin nester's returning though he is probably going to be an online only but maybe those employees were right maybe barnard butcher isn't returning hopefully he does though maybe it's just like a late release or something i don't know Let's just hope that they both return this year, though, because it would be such a dumb idea for them not to return. Like, this is Barnyard Butcher's year to return. Everybody wants him back, basically. Um, and, you know, it, it would just be a really bad idea for not to return him. But overall, I am very, very, like, I guess, happy and excited to see these animatronics in person. I do think that they can they have a lot of potential to amaze us. I feel like Spirit has something up their sleeve. A lot of people have been saying that. A lot of people have been, like, downing that theory. Um, but I do think that Spirit is holding back and they're not trying to show everything. Even though the sneak peeks that they've showed us are horrible, um, I think that they are definitely hiding something. And I can't wait to see exactly what that is. And I just think overall this year is going to be a pretty good year. It might not be the best year. It might not even be better than last year. But I think it will be a good year. And, and, and I think the entire Halloween season this year is going to be amazing. From Home Depot, Party City, Lowe's, Spirit, whatever. I think all of these stores have delivered an excellent uh, lineup, and I can't wait to see these in person. I'm hoping that the animatronics are going to really impress us. I think they will. Um, I'm especially excited for Lord Raven, though, because he has kind of just been, like, making me very intrigued, because he looks kind of generic, but very cool in the same way, and I feel like he's going to do something incredible, because he's $300, and a lot of these props are very, very expensive, and in my opinion, overpriced, which, you know, everything's been going up, so of course the props are going to be going up in prices too. Most of this stuff is closer to 300 this year, which is very, you know, scary, meaning that we can only get a limited amount of props this year, probably, um, depending on most of our budgets on Spirit Halloween. I'm probably only going to be getting one this year from Spirit Halloween, so I don't know, we'll see what happens though. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts and opinions in the comments below of Spear Halloween 2022. Tell me if you like the props, if you don't like them. And tell me if you're just going to wait to, you know, judge them once their store opens up. Um, and, and, yeah, tell me what props that you're planning on getting this year also from any store. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.